Hello, this is my video diary for today. What is it today? I have no idea. Oh, it's Monday. Yes, it's Monday because I'm in my office. I have my office on Mondays. Okay, so I'm going to share something that is kind of, it's embarrassing because it is like my core, my inside and something that happened yesterday or that maybe I... <laughs> attracted that to me, I attracted the situation, I believe we attract everything that happens and I want to share it with you because I think I'm not alone and I, as I've said before, I'm in a new relationship and uh, yesterday we were uh, together with his old family and there were like 10 of us and then they started to speak about his ex-girlfriend, uh, some of the people in the family, they just met her and they were speaking about her for like, in my world, it was like 15 minutes, like, how is she doing? What is she doing now? And immediately when I heard, because my partner and I, we had been speaking about ex-partners and all of this. And it was something really, really triggering in my body when this topic came up. And he felt straight away, my partner felt straight away that something was going on. He was like, just tell me if I can do something for you. I was like, just be quiet. Just don't speak with me. And my heart was pumping. Like it was definitely this fight or flight response. It was like really, really, really heavily. I thought my heart was going to kind of jump out of my body because there was something going on. I'm not sure because I was not really thinking clear. So it was no specific thoughts going on. But something really, really, really triggered that a fight or flight in my brain and created a physical effect in my body and then I was like okay uh I was like okay I am a grown-up person I can leave I don't need to sit here and listen to this because I felt like okay I have a choice here I could just be quiet uh and feel like a victim like they should understand that it's not appropriate to speak about his ex-girlfriend when I'm there or I could say something like, okay, this topic is really hard for me to listen to, can we please change? And I was like, oh, I'm not really in that position of doing that uh, when there are nine of them and I'm there alone, like alone, but so I was like, okay, fuck that option. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I can actually leave. I don't need to leave the whole dinner, but I can actually go into the bathroom. So I did chose that option. Uh, so I went into the bathroom and... I was like, okay, shit, what is going on? Why is this topic so hard? I was like asking my mind, I was asking my heart. I was like, what is happening? Because it was that strong physical um, thing going on. So I was really scared of not being able to actually walk to the bathroom from the table where we were sitting because I thought I was, I was going to faint. So... That one was really, really, really tough. And after that, okay, so I was in the bathroom for like 10 minutes. I did tapping, uh, trying to uh, help my nervous system. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use this situation for something good. Of course, it's something that comes up. So it's like doing EFT tapping is the best time ever when you, when you are in a situation. So I did that in the bathroom. And I kind of got my nervous system down and all that. And then I got back. Uh, to the table and I was drained they were talking about something totally different when I got back and I was drained it was like uh, that enormous amount of pressure in my body and then it just kind of uh drained my my whole body it's like okay shit I have no energy left so I just kind of sat through the whole dinner and I was like okay I don't feel so good at all uh, but it was interesting what was actually going on and one part of my brain was like, Linda, you are working in therapy, you work with personal growth, you should not be bothered by an ex-girlfriend that your partner was together with before, you have had your own life, you've been in a marriage for 10 years and all of this going on and then my other part was like, no. Actually, I'm going to listen to why this is triggered within me. Why is it triggered? Because if I don't look to the root cause of why this is happening, it will keep happening because the mind works like this. It's, it's trying to show us something. And obviously, there was one part of me that is not healed yet. Uh, and 
later that night, uh, my partner and I had the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful conversation. So we did clear a lot of things and I am just so grateful for having him in my life and we being able to speak to each other and the gratitude I feel with this person is just amazing. And that because we were discussing, he was like, I, I I could have said something at a dinner table, he said, like asking them to not uh, speak about that topic. But he was like, no, I know that is not what you really wanted me to do. Uh, and yes, he was right. One part of me wanted him to just tell them like, okay, just drop this topic because it's it's sensitive. It's like, but he didn't. Uh, and I am very grateful that he didn't because it helped me grow and I know like we are all in this cocoons as beautiful butterflies within and if somebody else just trying to pop that one for you to make you come out and fly and you are not really ready for it the butterfly will die so that means that you will not get the personal growth and I believe we're here for the growth so I'm very grateful for what happened but my I wanted to make a video about this and really saying like don't blame yourself for what comes up understand what is going on just so if if a reaction comes up you have options and remember that do never feel like a victim because it was not their fault it was all happening within me of course they are they can talk about whatever they want to talk about so it all happened in me and I just had to realize I was like okay I am in charge of my life I make decisions of how to handle the situation and I want you to remember that you are in charge you can decide how you want to feel no how you want to feel but yes kind of because you decide what you want to make out of the situation and remember to ask yourself why is this triggered just hug yourself and asking yourself that question what is going on why is this topic so hard once you understand it you can heal it Today, I feel more healed than yesterday, so I thought it was a perfect time to share this story. Very personal, a bit embarrassing, but very, very honest. I wish you a magical day, and remember, you are the one creating your magical day.